feel like there's this um, balance thing going on here. If we were in tarot right now, I feel like we would see temperance. In fact, I'm just really curious. Um, let's just do a quick, <laughs> I know that's going to seem silly to you, but let's just see what comes down. Thank you, spirit guides and angels. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah, uh, there's temperance. <laughs> wow, goosebumps. Goosebumps Capricorn. Um. Hi Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. I'm happy you're here. <laughs> your love tarot reading, your love oracle reading, your love messages. This is for you, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Now, you could be here for your sun sign, but you could also be here watching um, for a, a complete picture of your chart. So make sure you check out the playlists. I do have playlists, you guys, for every sign, and I have quite a few August out for everybody if you want to get a better view of you or your person. Anyway, um, also welcome cross watchers. Really happy you're here. You could be here watching for a Capricorn in your life. And then you find that you're resonating with the reading. If that happens, um, yeah, just go with it. <laughs> it's meant to be. It means there's something here for you. And guys, I, I pretty much read from um, a lot I'm, I'm still on the Wisdom of the Oracle this month. We'll also be looking at Guardian Angel cards today and Lover's Oracle today. And I'm still feeling very love messagey. We have love messages from your person. We also have channeled song messages to you from your person. So it could be that you resonate with a particular deck. It could be that you're resonating with a totem already here or a totem that I pull at the end. I do pull totems if you are new here. Um, and if you're not, you know that I do that pretty much every time. So let's take a look at what's under the deck here. First of all, fork in the road, Capricorn. What's going on? Now, here's a four. So this can be about foundations and stability, which is really not surprising, um, and also manifesting. I feel like you have been in this fork in the road, Capricorn, um, or really whoever's watching, because you're here for a reason. So, watcher, <laughs> what's going on? I want to say that I, I feel like a lot of you have been in this fork already, but you're coming to a point where you want to make a decision whether you're really letting your person go. Now, that's not going to be for everybody, um, because I also do feel like there's a your person has a really strong urge to return. Um, there's some fear going on, for sure. There's uh, something maybe they might be hiding. There, I feel like there's other people involved. There's something going on why they're not coming forth, and it's not because they don't care about you. I'll tell you that. And look, co-create, you guys. There's another four. So there's some more about foundations and stability and some more manifesting. Now, this can sometimes be about you needing to um, get in touch with spirit and trusting um, what's going on in your life and divine timing, um, getting closer to, um, yeah, getting closer to what that means for you, what your higher power is for you. That's your God, your goddess, um, the universe. It really is different for everybody, guys. The other thing is, is getting some balance in your life. I do feel like for some of you, there has been uh, a lack of um, balance only in the in the sense that you have maybe been um, putting a lot of energy into this person. And even for those of you that are disconnected, um, or excuse me, are um, uh, long distance. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. Excuse me. This is a no contact reading. This is a reading for people in separation, okay? So you could be both or one or the other. It could be that you're talking to your person, um, but you are, there's a lot you're not seeing and um, you're separated. Or it could be you're completely not talking, okay? It could be both, that you're just separated and not talking. But there are some long distance connections going on here for sure. 
and re really re already off the bat, I can tell you that there is some Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy going on. We also have Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. So your person could also be another Capricorn. And guys, I'm sure probably that Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio are also going to show up because um, that you just take that with a grain of salt. The thing about um, other signs appearing in the reading is it can be confirmation and validation for you, especially when they just keep coming. Um, but this is a, a general reading, so there's a lot of energy uh, that I'm reading here, and it's just not going to be that it resonates with everyone. Um, but it's also going to be that pretty much every sign is here because this is for the collective. A lot of people are watching these readings, and I'm channeling those energies. Which, by the way, I do want to say, um, guys, take what resonates, throw away the rest truly, okay? And please also remember that this is not a prediction. I'm not predicting things for you. You do with your outcome what you want to do. What your outcome is going to be is based on your decisions, okay? It's really important that I tell you that. And I know I sound like a broken record <laughs> for those of you that are regular watchers. And um, if you are new here, I do say that quite often. So... <laughs> Yeah, that's just how that is because it's very important that you know that, okay? Guys, <laughs> look, look what's underneath here. All right, there's two things going on here. Now, when it comes to serendipity, what I want to say to you, um, this is spirit putting love in your path, Capricorn. So let me get a better hold on these, excuse me. Now, it could be that this is your person coming back, okay? But it could also be a new love for you. Nine in numerology is about um, fulfillment, like wishes fulfilled or getting something, attainment. Can also be about things coming to fruition. So a connection that you were already in. So it could quite possibly be that it's your person. But here's the, what I love the most about the serendipity card is you Capricorn are writing this four leaf clover, which is pretty much everything. Now, this is spirit putting love in your path, but this is also serendipity, you guys. You know, this is this is love and luck and health and um, money, kind of everything, okay? Um, but the main thing here is this is your love reading and, and spirit is putting love in your path and you have the fates here. So is this your person? Is this a new person? going to have to figure that out as we go along. But here's the thing with eight. Eight in numerology is an action, you guys. It's like getting the chariot card um, in tarot. So there's definitely some, some cancer energy here as well, you guys. But somebody, this faded connection for you is wanting to come, okay? Um, the other thing about the fates that I do want to say is, yes, there's a faded connection at play here with you, Capricorn, or whoever's watching. Things can be vice versa, and we've already gone over all that. Um, but a lot of times, too, it can mean that there are lessons that needed to be learned or quite possibly still need to be learned, okay? Um, because we don't end up with somebody or come back with them doesn't mean that they weren't a faded connection. It's really important to me that you um, understand that. It still is uh, meant to be whether or not you're moving on, okay? Let's get one last cut and shuffle here, and then we're going to get going, although we really already have begun. <laughs> you guys know that um, the reading starts as soon as the cards start showing themselves, okay? We're going to do one last shuffle, and let's take a look underneath here. Wow, you guys. Okay. Blessed Connection, first of all, excuse me, some angel numbers going on here. There is that four again, you guys. So there's definitely something going on with your, um, what it is that you want is what I want to say. And this is a spirit popping in again. We already saw serendipity of love being put in your path, Capricorn. Now we're seeing blessed coming and looks, she's riding this, um, Feminine energy here, uh, writing this, it almost looks like a, 
a moon or a sun. I want to say it's the moon. Um, look at all the stars and the illumination and look at all the hearts below you guys. This is definitely um, about love. This is about your connection, whether it's your person or new love Capricorn. Um, but here's the other thing. We have the orphan card. Now, five can be about some conflict, some instability, but it can also be change. And really, this is um, confirming your disconnect. Okay, we already know that. I uh, definitely feel like um, you've been feeling kind of abandoned and maybe even a little bit forgotten, some of you. Uh, could even be that for some of you, that won't be for everyone, that there is a, or was, um, either a marriage involved between the two of you, like maybe being engaged or wanting to be married, or there could be other parties involved. So one or both of you are in third parties. Um, the other thing I want to tell you about the orphaned card is that can also be about you um, kind of not uh, being true to yourself, okay? Um, so that's something for you now that Spirit wants you to recognize so that you can take that into account um, and the things that you will want to look at for yourself. The other thing, too, is um, oftentimes I feel with the orphaned card that it's almost like the end of um, when you see the regeneration card, which is like the forest still kind of glowing on fire um, it, and the tree of life coming out. This is almost the right before you've noticed the tree of life. So it's this feeling of still sitting amongst the ruins a little bit. Um, and for some of you, I, I think I'm seeing that you're not realizing that there is um, new beginnings already happening for you or out there. Um, maybe you know it and you're just not interested. Um, then this isn't for everybody, but some of you are still a little bit in that energy of um, the ruins, I guess I want to say, okay? Um, and like I said, that's not for everyone. We do see the blessed card. We see serendipity. We see love coming in your path, you guys. Whether it's your person or someone new. We've got to go a little bit deeper here. Okay, that was a little bit heavy. But we're going to start um, laying them down, even though we've already been seeing them. Thank you, spirit guides and angels. Okay, guys. Wow, that was really fast. The time to go card, you know what that is. That's not going to be for everyone, but some of you are... Yeah, we're talking about it. Some of you are, are halfway out the door. Not everybody, because I do feel like some of you are still in that orphaned energy of kind of being left behind and maybe even waiting for your person to make a decision. Okay, look. This is a message from Spirit, you guys, for you. Okay, with the come to the edge card. First of all, that is a nine. So that can be about fulfillment and attainment it can also be about things kind of coming to a head okay um and it can be a message from spirit for you um just to be a little bit um uh what do i want to say <laughs> careful getting a little perspective about what it is you want because some of you are kind of halfway out the door might even be gone already but your person here is coming through and wanting to kind of when you pull away, they come a little closer. That's what I want to say. So this is a spirit sending you a message to just be aware of that, okay? Some of you will be following this trail of hearts and taking a risk, is what I want to say. Um, some of you are kind of halfway here and the time to go and you're considering whether you want to turn around and, and go on and, and jump here in this little piece of land. <laughs> Now there's hearts everywhere. It's a quite beautiful card, but this can mean that there's this um, possibly some lessons that you are still needing to learn um, or some lessons that you, um, yeah, that you haven't learned yet. Okay, so that that can be this. It can be that it, it's going to restart. And yeah, so we'll see where that's going to go. And look, very interesting card because this can literally be about going the distance with your person, you guys, like going back um, in and, and taking it all the way, getting back together, possibly moving in together, getting married. It can be, you know, that's going to be different for everybody here, but very interesting because we have the time to go, which is, you know, um, but there's this halfway feeling for many of you. Now here's your person kind of 
trying to get you back in. And then there's this energy of, of possibly of going for it. And the interesting thing about it is it can really be about you going going for it, okay? Um, this can also be about you kind of calling in some love, some um, love that's working, some harmonious love. Um, really like in numerology, it's about um, six would be about pull, bringing in some um, harmonious love, sorry. <laughs> just getting tongue-tied for myself now this is not a six but that energy is coming through really strong some of you are wanting to move on but some of you are really uh are wanting to go the distance and you have been too i feel like you've been waiting for a long time and you're gonna uh, wait a little longer interesting and your person here um like i said is sort of when you start to go they sort of call you back in again but this can really be about um, also kind of, I want to say, um, creating a new uh, song together, sort of. Um, like, yeah, regeneration. Very interesting because we saw the orphaned card already, which it, which for me is, is uh, kind of following the regeneration card. It's sort of like uh, in the ruins of the fire. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this can also be about go the distance, uh, kind of like starting over. So that's not going to be for everyone because some of you are calling in some new love here. Now we have a four and a seven that's going down. What is that? 11. And then there's a two. So this is about your person. This is definitely about your partnership. Um, but there is a message for you, Capricorn, that if this is something that you are going to go the distance for and go back to this calling that your person is doing that you're going to need to um, make sure that it's balanced because there was a, a little more um, give on your part um, in the past. So if this is, excuse me, there's sage here on the table. If this is something you're going to restart. Wow, interesting. Okay, um, there's definitely some other people involved here in your connection. Um, and I did want to say to you that there is uh, definitely some Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, some Taurus energy. Um, we know that there, your person could also be another a Capricorn, a Virgo, um, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, definitely Pisces and Scorpio as well, you guys. The thing about the go, the, the, excuse me, by the book card is this is also about your partnership. So it could be your person is in a third party. Okay, that could also be possibly you. Um, we do see here that you might have a child or children with your person, or it could be that your person does. The other thing is when a two comes in a reading, it can also be about a decision. Um, and I feel like for some of you, you've been in this kind of halfway mode Capricorn where you've just been kind of standing here um, waiting in some ways, but uh, it's almost like the between worlds card when that's coming down that you're kind of um, waiting to see what your person's going to do next because you do really love them um, and this is risky this is kind of interesting I'm seeing the fool card here I'm, I'm feeling like you're getting some renewed hope some of you um, but you know you're knowing that it's risky and with the go the distance card that is taking it um, going back in okay um, but for some of you, there is a block here still. There's a block of other people that could also be family, you guys. Could be religion, distance, could even be all of the above, actually. But we do have the elephants there. So, um, you know, if you watch my readings, <laughs> you know that I, I um, my spirit animal is actually an elephant. I would really love to hear what your spirit animal is if you feel like you have one. Maybe something for you to think about if you don't feel like you have one because you do. You just maybe haven't thought about it or maybe you haven't explored that. Um, but the thing about elephants are the matriarch, the, uh, the kind of the mommy elephant, tends to be the one who is um, leading. Okay, and I just took a look at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> that wasn't planned, you guys. I wasn't going to look at the bottom of the deck, but when that happens, you just can't unsee things. But the um, matriarch will lead the herd, will um, find food and water and protect the young. So I do feel like for some of you now, this there's no gender here in this reading, you guys. So this can all be your person or you. But somebody, 
um, was definitely doing more caretaking than the other. And um, we do have this, I feel like there's this um, balance thing going on here. If we were in tarot right now, I feel like we would see temperance. In fact, I'm just really curious. Um, let's just do a quick, <laughs> I know that's going to seem silly to you, but... Let's just see what comes down. Thank you, spirit guides and angels. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah, uh, there's temperance. <laughs> wow, goosebumps. Goosebumps Capricorn. Um, I just felt like, let's see. I felt like, temp I felt like temperance was gonna come down if we were looking at tarot, which we weren't. So I thought, let's see what comes down and there you go. All right, yeah, there's definitely, um, there was definitely an imbalance and that is something, that is a quadruple um, message for you from Spirit, you guys. This, I know it's silly. This is in German, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, this is called Crow Tarot in English, but that's not the point. This is the Temperance card, you guys. Yeah, so there's, now, uh, this isn't going to be for everyone, but it could be, obviously, that your person is a Sagittarius, but there was an imbalance. There was definitely an imbalance, and Capricorn, I feel like you um, were sort of the caretaker, if you will, okay? Um, gender is not, um, doesn't matter, that's not here in this reading, so, you know, that, that can go whatever way, um, depending on who you are. Uh, it's really just about you um, giving more and doing kind of taking care of the relationship is I want to say. Um, also, maybe for some of you even being kind of a, a peacekeeper. So that is a message for you. But this is also coming through, uh, as you saw, very strong. <laughs> You've watched me shuffle. Um, that's pretty intense, um, that it's something you want to look at if you want to get back with your person. Because I can see here that they're enticing some of you. Um, when they feel you pull away, they come back. Look, I'm going. No, don't go. Okay, maybe I'll come back. Oh, wait, there's still these blocks here. There's still something going on here, and there's still this disconnect, and there are still these issues, okay? And also with the two, a decision. So you definitely have, some of you are considering um, moving on completely, and some of you are really um, waiting and on the fence here. Okay, that's going to be your decision. Remember, this is your free will. You make your decisions. You, you decide your outcome. Okay, Capricorn? But this is a pretty intense message for you about needing some balance with this person. Um, and it's no mistake that I felt it coming. <laughs> I saw it and um, thought, let's just look at tarot. And there you go. There it is. That's definitely a message for you. Okay, you guys. Wow. Yeah, and, and you know, here's the other thing, too. I feel like you've been kind of biting your tongue. Um, and it could have been that you were doing that when you were together, too, you guys. Could have been that these other people involved or maybe third parties, but you were kind of holding back. That's the other thing. You were sort of moderating yourself. Um, that's what I want to say. And it's also very emotional. Clearly, this is temperance. I and mean, look at that. Um, that, that emotional energy here. Very intense, you guys. Wow. Thank you, spirit guides and angels. I, I don't even think I got to thank anybody with the, <laughs> the, the, the tarot. Okay, look, you guys, new life. Um, did you have new life already this month, Capricorn? There you go. Look, it's coming right below time to go. So for some of you, this new life is going to be about uh, leaving, okay? It's not going to be for everyone because some of you are in this... Uh, consideration mode even though there's still something keeping you guys apart i feel like for a lot of you it's actually long distance okay um that's not going to be for everyone for some of you it's just a block uh, with stuff that's going on with you and i'm also feeling like i'm seeing the um emperor card in some ways um, and also the hierophant i do feel like that there is some um differences between you guys whether it's going to be religion culture distance, that sort of thing. Um, or even if you're living near each other, there's just some some differences that came into play for you. And now there's a, just a lot of ego and stuff going on. And these other blocks for some of you, then some that just can't be removed, okay? Um, can't be overcome. That's what I want to say. Excuse me. All right. Wow, look. 
right below come to the edge. Okay, so for those of you that are, are going to take this chance with your person, even just talking to them, um, you're definitely going to um, need to get um, to the bottom of things and get some truth out here. Um, there's some dishonesty that has gone on. It's coming right below because your person, like I said, for some of you is like, wait, don't go away. Come back here. Let me let me um, send these hearts to you and get you to follow me. And, and you're almost you're going the other way, some of you. But some of you, this is you going to jump on there. OK, um, and there's a really strong message for you to take care of yourself and make sure you're getting some perspective. Kind of see the hangman for you. Um, and figuring it out, uh, figuring out what it is that you need um, and want in love and from this person. And guys, we saw serendipity. You can't unsee that. There is love being put in your path. I do feel like for some of you, that's your person because that can also be about things coming to fruition. Um, the serendipity card, it's a number nine. So for some of you, your person is coming back. There's still some um, obstacles, I want to say. And there's definitely some... Um, kind of like I want to say uh, we would be looking at some sword energy here so there's definitely some Gemini Libra Aquarius energy but there's some conflicting stuff still going on and you're wanting to get to the bottom of things here look <laughs> whether or not you keep going or you go with them you're saying well let's have a talk first we have a lot we need to talk about we need to get to the bottom of some things I want to know the truth um, you want to hear how they feel about you. I also feel like your person has been hiding that on, on some levels because they are, some of them are in third party situations or there's other people involved, but also some of them are just now kind of in this um, little bit of this ego mode, you know, things that happen when you've been separated for a long time. Yeah, you guys, okay. I saw that six coming. There it is. There's that six. Now, when a six comes down, that can be about uh, needing to heal, okay, uh, with person. And you know what else this can be? Six can be about harmony, creating harmony. And do you know what the go the distance card can be? Literally, um, kind of writing a new song, um, like a new, a new tune, so to speak. So some of you. Um, are going for it, but right below there, look, there's the not for you. Some of you are, are like, no, this is confirmation here <laughs> coming, and I can hear you guys say, no, no, I'm, I really, I just can't anymore. Um, that's not for everybody, but look, you have time to go, and you have not for you here, but then you also have to go the distance. So some of you are wanting it, but some of you are wanting this new life without them. Either way, Capricorn, a new life here, that is on the table. You can't unsee that. That is a three. That is about growth, expressing yourself, and also with other people. So I feel like for you, it's going to involve a lot of different things. Could be a move. It could be some travel, uh, reconnecting with family for some of you. But yeah, interesting. Those of you that are wanting to give them a chance, you're kind of uh, tapping your foot here, <laughs> saying, yeah, well... And there's like there's a lot they have to get through with you. Just a minute, my camera is about to stop here. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Um, okay, so there's two things going on here. This is yours. Look, you got the breathe card. I'm not surprised. I was really feeling like um, we were going to see the hangman. Um, well, I was seeing the hangman, excuse me, and, and tarot. Um, this is very similar. Uh, the thing about the breathe card, it can also, look, and it's coming right below temperance. Um, it can also be about going with the flow, kind of... Um, like when you get the to the C card. Let's see what this is too, by the way. Oh, look, there's blessed again, you guys. Okay, wow. Um, the to the C can be about going with the flow. Um, so this is similar, but it's kind of letting nature take its course. So for some of you, there is this need um, also to kind of uh, let go of the trying to control it, okay? Or maybe even controlling another person because we know that we can't do that you guys um, we can only do control ourselves you know and make our decisions for ourselves live our lives you know people are going to do what people do no matter how much we love them but this is a message for you um, from spirit and it's coming right below temperance here you guys you know and you have an 11 2 plus 9 and then that is a 2 you guys this is about your partnership it's a two in numerology and also about balance. 
look, this is about getting balance in your partnerships. <laughs> so that's <laughs> coming right below temperance, which was wild, um, the way that came to us. And right after it is the blessed card. So there are the angel numbers again. There is the four. You've been manifesting um, some, whether it's with your person or uh, feeling like maybe, I, I want to put this delicately, that maybe you're not going to get it from your person. So I'm kind of giving up some of you. I feel like you have just said, no, I'm done. Some of you are still here in this well. I'm going to, um, let me hear what you have to say. Um, but have been manifesting a, something more stable. Um, you know, a found, this is really about manifesting, um, number four, of stability, a stable foundation, a stable partnership. And blessed is coming through again, you guys. So spirit is, is with you and blessing you. And, you know, your partnership now... Um, I do feel like this is, well, we know that this is a, a no contact separation reading here, but spirit is rooting for you. That's the thing. But, you know, you guys, that, that just doesn't mean that you're, you're going to choose uh, your person or that they're even coming back with the best of intentions because there is a little bit here for some of you um, just to pay attention. We got this... Um, letting go of this control here, this sort of balancing things out, holding back a little bit for yourself um, with the person, I mean, like not trying to control them or force the situation is what I want to say. And restoring some balance for yourself here and also understanding that uh, for a lot of you, it was imbalanced, okay? So, and I think a lot of you, that's why you're here in this time to go not for you energy. And some of you are saying, well, you know, it's going to have to change. Come, come here. I'm going to follow you on the edge. <laughs> um, but we, there's a lot to talk about here. Um, either way, I want to say to you, you have the new life card here and you have blessed here. And spirit is blessing your new life. Whatever that's going to mean for you, Capricorn, it is going to be different for everybody, you guys. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that hurt. Okay. Um, here we go. Let's look at your guardian angel cards here. We might get one. We might get two. Let's see what's happening. Okay, this was really fast. Angel of Tranquility. Wow, I'm not surprised by that. Look, here we go. There's some more real, there's a real need for you to, um, just to kind of, uh, like I said earlier, when I was feeling like I saw the temperance card, um, and then I, we shuffled, and then there came the temperance card. I'm also seeing the hangman, and then we got breathe. There is a real strong um, sense here that you need to balance um, things out for yourself too, okay? I do feel like some of you are um, maybe caught up in this energy, but you're wanting to go, all right? That's not going to be for everybody. Um, you do have new life here on the table, Capricorn. And, and spirit is blessing that for you. Now, yeah, some of you are going to choose uh, your person to come back with your person. And of course, you know, um, everything's everyone's going to be different here. This is a, um, a general reading and it's a lot of energy. So not everything is going to resonate because some of you are are really out and some of you are really wanting to give your person a chance. So, um, but that's going to mean some balancing and some conversations here I can see that you want to have with your person about what really went on, possibly third party situations, things also that are keeping you apart that you um, really need to discuss if you can overcome them. Oh, wow. Look, you guys, angels of the universe. Okay. Um, this is an eight. This is almost again, like the chariot card getting something done, um, accomplishing something, moving forward. Look at all the angels here, you guys, and look. Um, we have the, the planet of love here. You have this, um, who is this? Is this you going out into your new life? That's what I want to say to you, Capricorn. Is this your person here? I'm going to just find a place for it, and we'll talk more about it. Um, <laughs> I really don't like um, hiding cards. I like for them all to be seen. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to put it here. Um, yeah, I'll leave it there. But here's what I want to say to you about it. <laughs> the angels of the universe, look, you got the bless. This is very similar. Um, this is the, the, the universe 
kind of coming to your aid, I want to say, Capricorn. Um, some of you might be feeling or have been feeling disconnected, not only from love or from your person, but in your life. And, and I we did talk about this feeling that some of you might be... Um, not necessarily stuck. There, there's some stuck energy too, but there's this kind of not being able to move on energy for some of you that want to, because you do have your person also kind of calling you back. And you're also thinking of what if or what could have been that sort of thing. This is the um, spirit also putting people in your path, you guys. It's very similar to serendipity, but that it's not just going to be love, that there's people coming to kind of uh, souls to help you um, connect again to yourself and what it is that you really want in your life. I do feel like some of you, um, like we talked about, are on new ventures, are on um, possibly new new journeys, new traveling, new jobs, that sort of thing. Um, but definitely you're here for your love reading, and that's very clear that you guys are um, separated. Um, some of you might be in contact um, but a lot of you are both separated and not in contact. But look, you have the blessed card, you have the angels of the universe card, and you have new life card. So whatever it is you're deciding to do, you're definitely being guided, Capricorn. Spirit is putting people in your path um, to help you. So make sure you're looking um, around you and about the people you're choosing to spend your time with, looking for signs for yourself, Everybody has intuition, you guys. Um, you can tap into your intuition. That's really important here. And also your gut instincts, okay? And I say this a lot um, because it's true, but your gut instincts are guardian angels, okay? Listen to your gut instincts, you guys. It's like when you're driving and, you know, you know you should <laughs> get off at some exit, even though it's not where you want to go and you you but you don't listen and you keep going and you end up in really um, a lot of traffic, that sort of thing. Such a silly little example, but it's an example of not trusting yourself. And that can apply to big things too, you know? So there is a strong need for you um, to connect with yourself here and also know that you are being guided. There are people coming in your path that might already be there, both in love and in friendship, you guys. That is the angels of the universe really coming to your aid to help you um, kind of connect again. And, you know, having the angel of tranquility here and the breathe card and the temperance. There's so much um, need here for some of you to um, connect with yourself and to get some perspective about what it is you want and restore some balance too. That's very strong. Okay, I'm gonna, going to put this here. We're going to get into your, um, read a little bit of Lover's Oracle. We'll see what comes down here. Um, actually, why don't we do this? We'll keep your angel card here, right by blessed, where it belongs, okay? We're going to look at some Lover's Oracle. Thank you, Spirit Guides and Angels. Can you tell us what is going on with Capricorn? in general, in their life, their love, their person. Sometimes, you guys, um, the card won't even relate to your person with this deck. That's just how it is. It's actually why I love it, too. Look, <laughs> I'm not surprised by this. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. I love this for you. Look, your dreams, there's your, your angels are super out, uh, protecting you, guiding you, spirit is with you. Guys, who do you need to forgive? Do you need to forgive your person so you can move on? Maybe some of you, maybe that, you know, maybe you're waiting for it as well, but this is exactly what we were talking about. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality, you guys, by what you think, dream, and imagine. Your free will. And this is that kind of that little bit of one foot in, one foot out stuck energy that I was talking about that I feel that is going on for some of you. So that's a really loud and clear message. Let's get another one and then we will move on. Wow. Okay. To love messages. Actually, there's a couple here. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart not in your mind. 
for the heart is the gateway to the soul. I love this for you. Look, angels of the universe giving you more confirmation, you guys. You can have this new life. What it is that you want, I'm telling you, it's very strong. I'm actually going to put this here with new life um, because I do feel like some of you have been just held back a little bit. Okay, look, this is your last card. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Okay, so your person's already coming through with a message for you. Um, I do feel this strong energy of them. When you pull away, they come back. So they're already coming in. Usually there, it's uh, happening with the love messages. We had um, Leo <laughs> a couple weeks ago that the cards were flying. Um, I feel like it might have been Aries or Libra recently where the energy from the other person was... Um, kind of a little bit annoyed with me for uh, giving a, a pep talk. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's strange. I can't explain it. But um, I want to say to you that your person feels, those of you that are feeling pulled away, and also those of you that are a little bit stuck on the fence here, um, they are sending this message of love. Now, that's not going to change some of your minds, and it, and it shouldn't. You know, you do what you need to do regardless. But this message is coming through for you. Um, actually, I'm going to put it um, here because it could also be, um, you guys, it's coming, it felt like it needed to be here with forgiveness, that some of you might need to forgive your person so that you can move on and also know that, that there's love there because I do feel like for some of you, there's just not, um, there are some blocks that are not overcomable, I guess, at least not now. It's not going to be for everybody, but... That's for somebody that needed to hear that. Okay, guys. Um, let's look at... Whoops, excuse me. Love song messages. Now, these are song messages to you. Excuse me. I don't mean to uh, move away from... Whoop. Okay, these already came flying out. That wasn't the plan. These are from your person. The Tarot Closet love messages. <laughs> We're not even on that deck yet, but there we go. I'm sorry I ran. Okay, so your person, yeah, look at that. Could be that that is what it is that you need to forgive. Very interesting. Gosh, you were my first thought when I wake up and last thought before sleep, before I sleep. Okay, I'm putting that down here with them just uh, letting you know that there is, that they do love you. We weren't actually <laughs> on this deck yet. We are on love song messages, you guys. These are songs to you from your person with messages. Now, this is them talking to you directly. It could be that you recognize a song, a title. Okay, that's fast. A location. It can also be that you don't recognize anything um, about the song, but there's a message for you in it, okay? I don't know why the sky is so blue, and I don't know why I'm so in love with you. But if there were no music, then I would not get through. I don't know why I know these things, but I do. I don't know why Sean Colvin. Very interesting. Um, really, you guys, this can be about um, creating a new song, sort of, so to speak. I'm putting this here um, because I do feel like, um, for some of you, your person is a musician or you're a musician. But... Aside from that, you do speak through song. You do definitely have um, playlists for each other that you might not be sending right now. But your person is um, coming off a little bit confused, but they're wanting you to know um, that they acknowledge this love. But I also feel like they, they don't really know what to do. But they're also saying, you know, without you, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be different for everybody here. Crying over you, crying over you. Yes, now you're gone, and from this moment on, I'll be crying, 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 crying. Yeah, crying over you. Roy Orbison, crying. Guys, okay, your person is um, coming through here pretty emotional. And you think that you're alone in this uh, love. You're not. But I do really feel like uh, there was, there might have been some kind of, abrupt harsh ending some some issues between you because i do feel this sword energy like i said but also some of you um just have these some kind of blocks well my camera my battery is about to die we're on this card 
one minute while I change the battery. Okay, hi guys. Hopefully this didn't change the camera angle too much. Yeah, okay, sometimes it does. It looks like it stayed okay. Good, all right, so here we are. Um, this is the card that we were on. If you wanna know what pulls me through, I have one angel, babe. That one angel is you. Only one angel, Jimmy Lefebvre. Okay, that's an absolutely beautiful song. Um, if you don't know who Jimmy Lefebvre is, it's somebody I highly recommend you look up. I think you will love his music. Um, he's very inspired. Uh, he was inspired by Bob Dylan. Um, rest in peace to Jimmy Lefebvre. He is no longer with us. Um, but gorgeous songwriter also and a great interpreter of song. Only one angel. So they see you in, in a really... Um, angelic light now and guys that can be either way right this there's no gender here everything can be vice versa really um what is resonating for you is what is resonating for you okay what do you want to say to your whoops your capricorn and i'll always take you with me like a charm you keep me in the good light, safe from harm. Look, oh my gosh. Okay, this is a pretty uh, heavy deck. I only have two uh, for this particular song. And here it is again, only one angel. Um, I think you guys need to go listen to this song, first of all. And your person, um, wow, your person sees you. And in in, in, despite everything too, <laughs> you know, some of you sitting here saying with your foot tapping, okay, but... I need to say this to you, and we need to talk about what happened here. Um, but they are coming through really strong. It's going to be different for everybody what you're going to do here, okay? But also, like I said, you are definitely being guided by spirit and your angels. And that's a validation. What do you want to say to your person? Okay. Your bright, shining sun would light up the way before me. You were the one, made me feel I could fly, and I love you. If this is goodbye, Mark Knopfler and Emmy Lou Harris. Okay, you guys, yeah, your person is feeling this energy that some of you want to go here. Like I said, they're coming here with the, come here, like, come back, come to the edge. Go the, go the distance with me, please. And some of you are considering it <laughs> after you have a really, a lot to talk about. Some of you are not. Your person is um, acknowledging that for those of you that feel like you are really going to leave. But they're also letting you know again um, what you mean to them. The other thing is, you guys, there is really strong twin flame soulmate energy here, okay? If you don't follow the twin flame journey, don't worry. It, it, you don't need to be. Like I said, there's a lot of energy here. So it's just everything is not for everybody. That's just how it is with these readings. And even as I wander, I'm keeping you in sight. You're a candle in the window on a cold, dark winter's night. And I'm getting closer than I ever thought I might. Ario Speedwagon can't fight this feeling. Yeah, I do feel like, um, gosh, you guys, it just has this really strong feeling of you guys uh, wanting to be together. I mean, something had blocked you, but there is some... There is some pain and some ego and stuff going on too. But for some of you, there's distance. There's other people. But the love, it's a very emotional love, you guys. Gosh. And your person is kind of coming around a little or at least um, wanting to tell you here. Look, it's coming down by the truth be told is where um, it just kind of wanted to go. So your person is wanting. Let's get one more. Your person is wanting you. Wow. Wow. Wanting to tell you, excuse me, getting distracted here. What do you want to say to your Capricorn? Regardless of what is happening, and look, they're kind of wanting you to know, like, yeah, come so we can talk. Be interesting to see what they have to say. There is more than one of you, but only one of them is true. Only one of them is true. Only one of them is you. More than one of you, Neil Finn. Okay, this is your person... Obviously acknowledging that there's um, may, like there's other um, partners, there's other people in the world, of course, but you're very special. So that's, if you wanted to hear that, you're definitely hearing that. <laughs> 
Okay, guys, um, this is the last card coming down here from Love Song Messages. Please forgive me. I know not what I do. Please forgive me. I can't stop loving you. Brian Adams, please forgive me. Okay, yeah, look, your person is really wanting you to forgive them. And I think some of you might be considering that here, but, you know, Spirit sent this message to you really loud and clear, you guys, okay? Um, about this uh, sort of imbalance going on between you guys. And this is some Sagittarius energy just to talk about that again. Um, but yeah, there is this need for you to um, take care of yourself here too. Because it was imbalanced. But here we go. Your person is wanting forgiveness. It needs to come. I need to put it here. Um, I'm going to put it here by the butterfly. Okay. Okay. And the I'm sorry I ran card. We'll put that here. Okay, guys, love messages, direct messages to you from your person. What do you want to say to your Capricorn? What do you want to say? All right. Yeah, look, I'm hiding my true feelings. Yeah, we've already uh, talked about this way early on for sure, but they're coming around, you guys. Um, and I really feel like a lot of that is just the, um, not just for some of you, the distance um, and the time apart, but also for other people involved. That's just how it is for some people, okay? Take that as it resonates. Take what resonates and throw away the rest, you guys. Okay, do you want to say to your person, to your Capricorn, Love messages to your Capricorn. Love messages to you, Capricorn, from your person. Here we go. That was pretty um, <laughs> strong. Every time we part, I realize I want to be closer to you. Okay. Yeah, this is a... Uh, whoops, excuse me, guys. This always happens with readings, doesn't it, with me? <laughs> I'd put some of these other decks away. Do you want to say, okay, this is here for you. After every storm comes sunshine. Let the separation end. Please be mine. Yeah, you guys, your person is here with the come to the edge here. And like I said, that is just not for everybody, but they are really um, loud and clear here. But, you know, I just feel for some of you, there's just some, um, yeah, some blocks that are can't can't be easily overcome right now. Your absence is hard to bear. Yeah, they're missing you. Where should we put this, you guys? <laughs> we put this here. How about that, all right? Do you want to say to your person, last chance? Last chance. That's actually last dance, that song. Donna Summer, okay. I like to say last chance, though. No matter what has happened, no matter what you've done, no matter what you will do, I will always love you. Okay, yeah, there's that. That's coming again. Putting it here by the new life and time to go because whatever's happening between you guys, your person is still um, wanting you to know that they love you. Okay, um, guys, love messages to you from your person. Very love messagey today. Do you want to say... To your Capricorn. Okay. I haven't gotten over the pain of being away from you, and I don't intend to. All I think about is, oh, all I think about is that one day I'll wipe my tears and I'll see you. Okay, you guys. Yeah, this has been a, I feel like for you, for a lot of you, this has been a separation that's been going on for a while. And look, um, I'm on nobody's side. <laughs> I'm reading for you, Capricorn, and I, I love you. Um, but I, I love people, and I want the best for everybody. Um, I wish healing and love and peace for everyone. So I hope um, whatever happens, that everything works out for everybody. I really do. What do you want to say to your Capricorn? Okay. I'm not asking for a lot. All I want is for you to look into my eyes and say that everything will be okay. Okay, well, 
um, I feel like that's going to be um, ringing a lot more true when they uh, come to you. Well, I feel like I saw a card that was flipped over here, but maybe not. All right. Wow, that just stuck on my heart, you guys. My heart says it can't stop loving you, and I beg you to listen to your heart, too. I love you. Gosh, and that came down really strong in my heart. Um, interesting. Okay. Now they're begging you guys. Um, and I know that's not going to change for everybody. You're still in this. Some of you are still here. But, you know, not for you time to go. But gosh, there's a lot of you too that are, are wanting to talk to your person. Even to see what they have to say. But don't forget your messages from Spirit about taking care of yourself, okay? And, and um, not being able to control another person. And just the, the balance. This imbalance that was going on with you guys. Okay, they're very quiet now. Do you have anything else you want to say? Okay, yeah, there you go. This is the last card in this deck. You know me better than anyone. Okay, yeah, there's some... We already know there's Twin Flame Soulmate Energy here. There's a confirmation. I'm going to put this here for you. Okay, guys. It's very difficult to manage. <laughs> I always think I'm going to um, reel myself in, and I never do. Okay. All right, guys, these are your last messages here. The Tarot Closet Love Messages. And as you saw, two already came out um, earlier. That happens sometimes. Uh, your person came through actually sooner with the Lover's Oracle. What do you want to say to your Capricorn? What do you want to say to your Capricorn? Wow, okay. This is pretty obvious here. You are my biggest wish. Don't give up on us. That's a very specific message, you guys. Um, I'm not surprised by that because it's really coming through. Um, they feel your energy here, uh, some of you that are uh, thinking about leaving. And either way, there's a, obviously this is a separation, a uh, separated con uh, connection, severed connection, I want to say, just not in contact. Um, so your person... Um, obviously is, is part of that. But for some of them, they're feeling this energy of this time to go and truth be told. And also some of you that are um, kind of one foot in, one foot out, they're feeling that too and trying to uh, persuade you. Uh, but I do feel like for some of you, that's just not going to change the circumstances. That's what I wanted to say. I feel like the lighting just changed, but okay. I am so lost without you. I'm going to put this here. Yeah, I came down on go the distance. So they're hoping but it might be a long time for some of you that it works. Look, I'm sending you telepathic messages. Yeah, I think you are as well. You're definitely talking through song and you are talking to each other, um, sending messages like what, what is happening, what has gone on, how much you love each other, even for those of you that are leaving. Now, <laughs> it's funny, but I'm also hearing somebody kind of say to me, yeah, no, uh, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not telling them how much I love them. <laughs> so there's an acknowledgement um, there for those of you that uh, disagreed with me. Okay, this is your last chance. All right, you guys. I want to kiss you. Very specific physical message. <laughs> Look how funny. I was just acknowledging those of you that are like, I don't love you. Look. <laughs> yes, I know you love me. Um, that's not for everyone, but it's there, you guys. You can't unsee that, okay? Um, there's two more here, and that's it for this. And then we will get a totem or two. We belong together. Yeah, they're definitely uh, really kind of begging now, but like I said, sometimes for some of you, there's just the circumstances that don't change, and I really want to hold you. Yeah, there's some a lot of passion between you guys. And look, for some of you, I feel that you haven't even um, physically met. But that does not mean that you are not passionate um, for each other. And also, twin flame soulmate journeys, you know, uh, don't have to be people that have physically um, met. Okay, just want to put that out there for those of you um, that are um, long distance or talking to your person. Um, but haven't actually met them yet because the you are out there. I can feel it. Okay, um, so let's put that down. Let's look at some totems. I'm going to pull them away from the camera as usual. They're kind of loud. 
Also, I hope the sound is okay today. I changed my setup a little bit. Uh, so, kind of the sound got a little bit wonky. All right, you guys. Wow. Okay. First of all, let's start with the E. We have an E here. So, this initials can be um, you, your person, uh, a, what do you call it? <laughs> Location. We also have a C. Okay. Wow. Now, here is a rose, you guys. Um, this growth, this um, sort of, I feel like this is belonging here with you, with your new life. Either way, Capricorn, because, and for some of you, it's going to be with your person, but for some of you, not. Um, this is uh, almost like getting a three in a way. It's like expressing yourself and growing something new here, but also it's it's kind of not in a way. So some of you are just taking your life in a different direction um, in general and um, doing new things. But also some of you are um, wanting to come back with your person here. And there is this rose, you know, it's a seed and they, they come back every year. So there's that energy. We also have a leaf here. So this is definitely about change. Could even be something is going to be happening for you guys in the fall. I'm going to put this there. Look. You guys, we already know that your angels are watching you. It's very, very clear here with blessed, with angels of the universe, angels watching over me. This is a very particular message. Look, and I ended up, the wings ended up there as well. So this is confirmation for you guys. Watch for signs, okay? Watch for your repeating numbers, for um, things happening around you, serendipity. We saw the serendipity card, by the way, you guys. Synchronicities, that sort of thing. Deja vu. Okay, and your last totem look. Um, when this comes, this is representing Twin Flame Soulmate energy. You have the heart here and you have these two, um, sort of like this protection around it. It's like one, but it's two people. So this is a deep spiritual connection. Um, we already know that about you, Capricorn. I know from previous readings as well that you're very connected to your person. But there are some things, uh, logistics circumstance for some of you that are keeping you apart. Um, and for some of you that may stay that way for a while, it's going to be different for everyone. But this is an acknowledgement uh, from the universe, really, from spirit, what your connection is. Where do I want to put this? I felt drawn to that, but now I, I don't. Um, I'm going to put it uh, here with the come to the edge and the time to go because then there's the angel, more angel wings there. It's going to be different for everyone. Okay, you guys, that is your reading today. Thank you so much for being here. I wish you well, Capricorn. I wish you love. Take good care of yourselves, okay? And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.